Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Diego with uh, Little Designs. Um, I got another tutorial here. Uh, this is going to be focused on LEDs. Uh, it seems to be a very common problem. Um, so today I have a 50, oh, sorry, 42 LN 54LG screen that um, doesn't power on. Well, it seems like it doesn't power on. Um, it actually does power on, and by the way you notice is because when you turn on the power, when you turn on the power, it'll blink red on the power light, and then the fiber optic uh, audio in the back it, it turns red and it stays red. So that's when you know that it is powered on. Um, You'll sometimes see a flash, a very, very faint flash of the, uh, the backlights, but it's hard to catch. You have to look for it. So anyways, um, I have a LED strip already taken apart, or the, the whole assembly taken apart. Um, basically, you take the back off. Once you take the back off, you're going to try to snap off the frame, and then you have to take the, the metal holding the frame, and then the screens, the LCD screen, all that stuff. Once you get to this part, this is the most, uh, this is, it gets a little easier. Well, not really. <laughs> um, taking the screen off is a little hard, but this is, you know, once you, you'll find out. What you need is an LCD tester, or a LED tester, I'm sorry. Um, it's basically like this. And you can't see the number here. I turn this off. So you'll see that it says 3, 16, 317. That's the voltage uh, going through right now uh, to this te tester. Actually, I'm actually gonna put this here so you can see this because you kind of need this voltage. So say for instance you, you know, you're trying to repair your TV or you repair TVs or whatever, uh, and but you're trying to find out what kind of LEDs these are. Um, one way of knowing is by testing it out. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five LEDs in a strip. I'm gonna put the positive on the positive up here, negative on the negative up here. And it starts to light up. It's hard to see, but let me turn off my light here. I'm show you. As you can see, this light right here is off. Um, there's another light over here that's on. Uh, just limited to the space here. And you notice that I see 11.6 here. Now, what I want to do is, let me turn my light back on, 11.6, let me put into the calculator here, because we're going to divide some math. So 11.6 volts, you divide it into however many lights there were on, so it's one, two, three, four lights were on, um, that divides into four, we're at 2.9, um, Volts average for each uh, each is lights. So that's a three. That's actually we rounded up to three volts, give or take. So when you look for an LED like this, you want to make sure it's a three volt LED. I happen to have three volt LEDs right here, and if you wanted some, I can ship them to you. I have plenty of those. Uh, these actually are the replacement for the. The LN series. It seems to be a very, com uh, very common problem with the LN series. Um, they will fail about, you know, three or four years later or whatever, whatnot. So we're gonna actually gonna test this out to make sure that this is three volts or close to three volts. And let me turn this off while I put the test leads in here. So you saw that light up a bit. Or 2.7, 2.8. So that that's a good indication that it's a good LED, um, and we're we're good. Now, in some cases, when you test the LED, the strip, uh, that one of those LEDs can be bad and you not know it. It might come on when you have the, the tester. Your your job is to finding out that the voltage is correct throughout the whole strip. So if say for instance. Um, so we had 11.9, right? Or what was it? 
We had 11.6. 11.6, and let's add another 2.9. Eleven point six to two point nine. It's it's, so it's like fourteen and a half, right? Um, but let's just say, let's run up to three volts. So three, six, nine, twelve. What was it sixteen or fifteen? Sorry. So fifteen, fifteen volts throughout the whole strip. Sometimes you can get a strip that actually gets higher, uh, that you would need higher voltage, um, and it still has those, those three volts, uh, or those three or this. I'm sorry, the three volt LEDs. Uh, let's just say it goes to 40. Well, if it goes to 40, that means it takes 40 volts for it to, to power on. Sometimes, uh, if you try it with another set of, set of LEDs and it's not, you know, that same amount, that must mean that one of those LEDs is actually bad. Um, or a couple of those LEDs are bad. If the LED starts to fail, usually what it'll do, it'll need a higher voltage. Um, I believe there's a, what, less resistance or less or more resistance trying to to power on so you want to check that out check the LED make sure that it's it's in a good condition or the way you can test them out is by, by testing these LED or these strips right here or what do you call it go with these leads uh, you can do this right here see how I did that I basically scratched off the the pads right here and I can test each individual LED uh, positive and negative anyways um, so I'm going to be switching this out. Uh, I, I won't be doing it on camera. It's I have that in another video so you can check out. Uh, but I, I will be showing you the after we're after math. Um, yeah. So give me a second and I'll have that switched out. Alright guys. Okay so we're back again. Uh, we're going to test this trip out. Make sure we have enough voltage here. And once again, I replaced this LED just now. Uh, let me focus in here. There it goes. I just replaced this LED. We're gonna test it out. Make sure we have the correct voltage. So positive, positive, negative, negative. We'll see that it lights up. We're getting 13.9. 13.9 is like 14 volts. Let's see, that's right, obviously. 13.9 divided by five. 2.78, oh, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, let me try this one more time again. 14, that's better. So let's just say 14 volts, about a 5, that's 2.8 volts. It's between 2.7, 3.2. Uh, it, it goes within the, the spec. Uh, like I said, 2.8 uh, or 2.7 to 3.2, that, that's what you really want uh, on those, on the voltage. Um, it's give or take. The power supply can actually, you know, can output that. Um, so yeah, um, by replacing this, you, you're gonna actually gonna fix your, your, you know, your, you're gonna close the circuit basically. That's what you're doing, because when this goes out, the circuit starts, it opens up, and it needs that circuit to close in order to pass everything through. Um, this actually shorted out. I can let's see if I can pull the old one here. Where did I leave the old one? I don't even know where I left the old one at. Anyways, oh, there's the old one. Just chilling here. So this is the old one. Um, it actually, it looks like it was burned. Uh, I don't know if I burned it or it was burned already. Let me see if I can zoom in here. All right, crap. So let's see. It might, it might, might be burned. I'm not too sure. Um, it's really hard to tell, but uh, yeah. So this burn, this burn mark right here is obviously. This is actually where I. This is my damage. <laughs> uh, you got uh, the way I do it is I heat it from the bottom with the torch, um, and then just let it heat up there. Uh, it's not the most professional way, but it's the best way that I can do it. Um, it, it it may throw off a little bit of the the well this is not bad but sometimes it'll fold down uh, you just gotta make sure you don't fold it down so the only thing that's left now is to re-glue this part or we're gonna test it out first make sure it's good so re-glue re -glue this part 
try to get it as most centered as possible um, and then that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it was a little bit long uh, but I just wanted to go in detail explaining everything because uh, sometimes you know I don't always do that but I know other people don't always do that as well um, I just want to be as helpful as possible because I know it's kind of frustrating to know that, you know the TV that you paid you know three four five six seven hundred dollars uh, goes out and it's all simply because you know a ten five cent LED like this goes out you know surprisingly this was the only LED that was out and in this series I've seen you know almost every other strip and in this in this TV there's about eight strips that's a 42 inch um, every other strip would go out at least one of these um, and the, the strip usually has a L1 series L2 R1 R2 uh, you can buy the the whole strip online so you won't have to do what I'm doing you know, re desoldering whatever um, the strips do go I believe for like 15 bucks and high higher depending on what size it is uh, because like I said it is a very common uh, uh, common fault on the on the LN series and also um, there was another series I forgot what it was oh the Vizio also has the, the same thing um, so if you have a Vizio uh, I think it was like made in 2012 13 14 then it might have the same problems as this uh, Vizio uses the same panels from LG this is the LG panel um, Vizio will, will use that panel to to put on their TVs um, and by them using the panel, they have to use the, the backlights as well. And unfortunately, these backlights aren't, they're not good quality. Um, the only good quality that I've seen is probably the edge lit ones. Um, but I've also seen Samsung edge lit go out as well. Um, it just all depends on the quality. Uh, you know, you get, you get lucky sometimes and you don't. Uh, but at least you know now how to repair this and you know you shouldn't have any problems as to what what what's you know the fault or whatever um, like I said this this fault right here is basically there's no backlights uh, you can hear sound you can you know there's just still the lights still come on whatever the back the fiber optic light in the back is still red so that means it's on um, but there's no there's no actual backlights you can actually put you know a, a flashlight towards the screen and you can see what what's on the screen um, but yeah this is a very common with the most cheaper TVs Hisense um, I mean I fixed Emerson's and Funai's and whatnot uh, with LG it's it, you know just this series that I've seen the ones that have the L is very common but alright guys um, I'm out of here I'll take care once again you know subscribe whatever you want to do like comment hey whatever <laughs> y'all take care have a good one thanks